All right, y'all. So thank y'all for answering me when I asked y'all should I grow up or on the ground. Um. So and I looked it up, and you can grow watermelons up. Um. But you have to, they have to be the smaller watermelons. And that's exactly what I'm growing. They're the smaller watermelons. They're not the big, long watermelons. But um, I think it will be better to just let them go on the ground. I was trying to keep from um, having them in the way of Murder Show mowing the lawn. Because they, like, you know what I'm saying? They have a mind of their own when they're growing on the ground like they take up a whole lot of space um and murder show wants it just to be here you know what i'm saying <laughs> watermelons last time i grew them they was all back there all back here so yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and take these out but i'm gonna use these for uh, my tomatoes and like my jalapenos and my cucumbers because I want those to grow upward. So I'm just gonna transfer this into this right here. I wonder if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, just gonna transfer this right in there. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. That's a tomato plant. I want my tomatoes to grow upwards, not on the ground, because I don't want the ants to eat them. Um, I'm gonna put one in here and put one right there. That's another tomato plant. This is a cucumber plant. I'm gonna put one in there. I also want my strawberries to grow upward so I'm gonna put uh one in there one in there and one in there that's why I got all of those to do that with um so let me go ahead and do this and then I'll um oh I hope this come out nice okay I'm sorry if I hurt y'all I'm so sorry Oh, and I want my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? What is this right here? My squash. Is that squash? Yeah, I know. Anyway, I want that to grow upwards also. Oh, and let me show y'all where it's growing. Look, y'all see that? Yes, honey. Those seeds are growing, finally. Took so freaking long. So I'm not gonna touch this. I'm just gonna keep watering it so it can grow. But I'm not watering them today because they're nice and already watered from the rain. So they're good for now. But I'm probably gonna be moving these around soon. Um, I'm not real sure where, but we gonna see. We're going to see how everything work out. But let me put these. I think these are called trout. I don't know what they call, y'all. But I'm about to put them in the right bags. So let's do it. Oh, and these two are going to need one also. Because I want them to grow upwards also. Alright, y'all. So I need to get a couple more. Um, Got that one in there for that. Uh, let's see. I need two more for this, but I'm gonna get the smaller ones for these two. Um, and I need one for this one. This is my, uh, what do you call that? It's some type of green. Maybe I don't need one for that one. Yeah, maybe I don't need one for this one here. But these two, so I need two more. And yeah, everybody is Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> So that's what it's gonna be, peeps. Like I said, I might move them around, but this is pretty much it. And I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna go to one of the stores, either Lowe's or Walmart, and get some uh, 
more seeds for the spring summer because a lot of my seeds are for the winter so what's up y'all so today we are having fried ribs okay i haven't done that in so long and i remember really really loving it um the last time we had it i have two eggs cracked in this little bowl here i'm just gonna add some heavy whipping cream to it just like that oh and we're having um bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos with this So, let me get the seasoning. So I'm just gonna put some in here in the egg wash. Just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. seasoning is so good to me that I don't even want to use the uh, Tony's. I'm going to use some of this right here from the Mexican style. And we're just going to put this on here. Season our pork chop or we dunk them in the um, I should have put this in the daggone egg. Too late. And I'm gonna add some of this flaming hot uh, seasoning, spicy seasoning. Since we still don't have no cayenne, y'all. <laughs> I literally made another order today and forgot to get the cayenne. Again, I don't know why I keep forgetting it. I'm remembering everything else but the cayenne. And let's just turn these over. And get the other side. Y'all, this season is so good. Like, if y'all have a chance to go to your Mexican store, y'all need to try this. Um, El Venado Fajita Saison Roll Hold. Okay? It is delicious. It's better than, uh, <laughs> it's better than Tony Sanceries, y'all, honestly, in my opinion. It's time for a new friggin' uh, all purpose seasoning. Cause this stuff can literally go on anything to me. All right, y'all already know what I'm breading my stuff with. This is on my Amazon storefront under pantry. Okay, I use this to bread everything now. Alright, 
can go ahead. Let me get this open. Oh, let me get my other plates because that I'm gonna just I'm doing them early so they can sit and adhere. Um, so these are the plates I'm gonna be sitting them in. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So let's go ahead and dunk. We dunk it in the egg all over. And then let it drip off. Do it like so. And then throw her in the bag. We're gonna do one by one so we can make sure that the batter gets all over the rib without any type of interference. And then pat it in there if you can. Just like that. You know what? I need some tongs. I'm gonna get that out with some tongs. Sure. You know what? I'll just get it out with my hand. And we're just gonna lay it on the plate. Boom. Literally perfect. Sure you get that wash everywhere even on that inside bone because you want the um, breading to stick all over I wish there was another like apparatus I could use to bread I know there is because I saw one on TikTok and I'm thinking about going ahead and looking for it Cause it may be on Amazon. I think that's where it is. They are coming out really good, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in a few seconds. Get it with my clean hand. This hand. Yeah, that's better. Here we go. I got these already cut ribs from um, uh, 99 Ranch. I love the fact that they're already cut. So convenient. we 
we go. And I want to thank um, everybody who gave me good suggestions in uh, yesterday's video and you were really nice about it. I really appreciate that. Being nice goes a long way with me. Uh, if you're not being nice, I'm not listening. And that's just that. I'm erasing your comment and you're getting blocked. So, you can be mean if you want to. <laughs> but I would suggest you try to say whatever words you are trying to express in a nice way. They'll get taken a little bit better. And I can take a constructive criticism because I took it from the people who were being nice about it. It's just a way to talk to grown folks. Okay. So, talk to me as if you were talking to me in person. And let's keep it nice and cordial on this channel because that's what I'm striving for. A nice community like we have on the Mukbang channel. That's what I want for this channel. And I'm gonna keep working at it until it happens. So you might get your little comment in. <laughs> you might. <laughs> if I'm doing something else. Million dollar baby. Oh my goodness, girl, these are just perfection. And just remember y'all, when y'all are giving y'all critiques, that y'all are not eating this food. Just, can y'all remember that? I'm eating it. So if anything is contaminated, that's on me. You know what I'm saying? It's literally on me. It's not, yeah, some of y'all be acting like it's personal. <laughs> like, chill out. For real. And the people who comment on my mukbang channel being nice, but then come over to the family blog channel being rude, please don't do that. 
Please don't do that. I'm not gonna call nobody out, but please don't do that. about to make the filling to our jalapenos and then we're going to uh work on the jalapenos and how you're supposed to stuff them and all that anyway this is smoked gouda that's what i want in my um let me see the smallest piece of that one that's what i want in my jalapeno popper that's what they call them jalapeno poppers bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. So we're gonna put this in here. To... I don't need that much cheese. I was gonna mix it with some um, some mozzarella, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna do this. And you're gonna need an eight ounce thing of cream cheese softened, okay? So we're about to shred this up, hopefully. It don't uh, move. Yeah, I left the skin on this time, y'all, because I just ate some and you can you can eat it. You can eat that. At least I'm going to. <laughs> Just enough cheese. Just enough. I'm just gonna sit her over there right now. Then we are going to go in. out of here. It's been sitting since this morning. So I'm gonna make sure that it was gonna be nice and soft. So I'm just getting everything prepared right now, y'all. Both uh, poppers are gonna go in the no, I'm gonna put them in the uh, air fryer. That's what I'm gonna do with those. I was gonna put them in the oven, but why put them in the oven when I can put them in the air fryer? All right, cream cheese. And this is all you do, y'all. Cream cheese and cheese. That's it for the filling. This, this person that I watched didn't even uh, season it. They didn't season it at all. And they used a Mexican blend cheese, but I don't have that, so that's not what I'm using. And honestly, you could season this if you wanted to. Like, why not? This doesn't have salt in it. This spicy blank seasoning, it's just gonna give it a little bit of heat, I guess. Anyway, so you just mix this together. I was gonna use the Borisin cheese, but that cheese is so soft. I was afraid that it wouldn't hold up in the uh, pepper. So I just used cream cheese. I wanted to follow the recipe as good as you know, I 
possibly could since this is my first time making these. Let's make sure everything, all of the cheese is incorporated. And this is a good way to make sure it's incorporated by just smashing it in there. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. And let's go ahead and do these jalapenos. Okay, so this is how I saw him do it. He made a cut across this top part here. Not all the way down, cause you don't want to open up the entire thing just halfway. Then he made a cut downwards. So basically a T and the cut is not gonna go all the way through, okay? And you're gonna open it. I hope this works out for me. Oh, it is. And then you take a spoon and you dig out all the seeds. without cracking it, okay? Because you need it to be open. I guess you get the stuff out this way. But you gotta get in there and be careful with it. Don't be too aggressive or you're gonna split it open. Get you a pack of bacon too. You're gonna need some bacon because we're wrapping it in bacon. Okay, we're all hollowed out. That was easy. That was easy. Let me grab this bacon girl. This one's already open. I don't even know how, how many of these I'm gonna do. <coughs> Let you get your bacon out. Let me just rinse this real quick. <coughs> okay, just like so. And you're gonna take your filling. I'm just gonna show y'all this one, okay? I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera. I may do another one, I don't know. But anyway, you're supposed to take the mixture and like roll it into like a cylinder, like that, okay? Just like that. And stick her in there. Oh my God, that was so easy. That was, wow, that was too easy. Too easy. Um, and you take your piece of bacon <coughs> and you wrap it. You wrap. Oh, do I need two pieces, girl? Cause this. <laughs> okay, I think I need two pieces. You wrap. And shoot, that's it. <laughs> That was freaking easy. Let me give me a plate so I can just put them in one. Gonna make it. Million dollar baby. And you can tuck these ends, cause I saw him do that. He was like, to keep it from unraveling. Tuck the ends, okay? This one, honestly, I don't feel like I need to tuck it because I'm just gonna lay it on, on this end, just like that. Y'all, that was so easy. 
I'm just gonna pick the biggest jalapenos that I have. Like this is another big one. Sir. I'm gonna do one more for y'all. You cut the top part of your tea, not all the way down, and then you go right through the middle. And do not go all the way through. Open her up very gently. Get the inside out. her again because I'm getting cream cheese all on the outside and my fingers Yeah, rinse it even if you've already washed it because it'll get some of the other stuff that's in there out. <coughs> and if you want to, I'm thinking you could put meat. <coughs> you could put meat in here like chicken or you know whatever kind of you could put crab in there honestly and just close that right on up Boom. i'm thinking i'm gonna need two but this one too because these are pretty big so i'm gonna overlap that bacon so I don't have to worry about tucking this. Yep, need two pieces. I don't know how people are doing one piece. Well, maybe because their peppers aren't as big as mine. And I'm just gonna overlap that lap, that end. And then overlap that end. And then come down here. And I'm just I'm gonna tuck it on this one because the other one, this one's not set up like that other one. So we're just gonna tuck that so it won't unravel. <coughs> and that's how you do it, y'all. It's so easy. Anyway, I'm about to do a couple more. Um, I don't know how many more I'm gonna do. Oh girl, what is wrong with this one? Oh, that needs to be washed. Um how many of these should I do? I'm probably gonna only be able to eat two because I got those uh, ribs sitting right there. Um, ooh, what in the hell is wrong with this? Girl. I'll do three more. All right, y'all, so that's how you do it. Y'all, so I finished all of them. Boom. Okay, so these are gonna sit here until I am done getting ready. Yep. 
just like that, right along with the pork chops. And yeah, see you soon. So I changed my mind. I wanna go ahead and water them. For some reason, I feel like they're thirsty. You know? <laughs> I feel like they want some water. They'll stand back up. stick in here so it will hold so the bag won't fold. I should have put more um, uh, soil in here honestly. Too late now. I heard that watermelons love water. <laughs> Those are the blackberries. I'm still watering them, y'all. Just hoping that they, um, one day give me something. So I think everybody is good now. I don't know why they were starting to look a little dry. I'm like, oh, they're probably thirsty. So I'm gonna put this stick in here. So this can stay open. There we go. We're good. What's the bubbling deal? TikTok shop, y'all. It's just a sleeveless uh, ribbed jumpsuit. You need this for the summer. It is. I believe this is $19, something like that. Um, yeah, it's like a boot cut. Hold up. I wonder if y'all can see me though, right here. Anyway, it's boot cut and I just have on some flip flops that I got from the TikTok shop with it. I got these flip flops actually to go with those bathing suits I had bought um, with the uh, big flower. Yeah, 
because these have a flower on them. You see, it goes perfect. Anyway, so we are about to get to cooking. Um, all we gotta do is throw those pork chops, I mean those uh, ribs in the, let me turn it on first. Cause y'all, we need to hurry up. I'm gonna put it right in this grease and I'm gonna put those um, jalapenos in the air fryer. Are y'all ready? Yeah, I did. Um, some cluster lashes. Y'all look at these freaking, la these are the best looking cluster lashes I have ever put on my eyes. They look like my strip lashes. Okay. Yes. I love them so much. Anyway. Oh, I did a video on these two. You can get these from a TikTok shop. When I tell y'all, if you like to wear like thicker, longer lashes, these are the ones. Okay. But I don't know how I feel about sleeping in them, y'all. I just don't know. Um, because normally at the end of the night, I like to take everything off. Wig, makeup, lashes, everything. I don't like to sleep <laughs> in lashes. You know what I'm saying? Um, so these are supposed to stay on for however long you, you know what I'm saying? However long that they're gonna stay on, I don't know. But um yeah i just i just i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see what to do anyway let me let this um grease get hot and i'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the air fryer y'all i don't know what i'm gonna put these on because there is no setting for um <laughs> jalapeno poppers like there's no setting so let me figure something out and i'll be right back to let y'all know all right y'all i'm trying to see if my oil is hot so when you put the stick in it's supposed to bubble if it's hot enough and i don't think it is honestly i mean it's bubbling on this side but like here in the middle let me move some of these out the way let's see okay it's bubbling it's a bubbling girl so let's go ahead and put the first one in there. I hope to what? It fries. Come on, girl. Okay, it's fine. Thank you, Lord. So y'all, all of these are gonna have to fit in here. Girl, what the hell is in here? Oh, there's a piece of that uh, rib. I hate it when it bubbles like this, but. It is. I literally can't even see where to put them. <laughs> One more. Come on. Come on. We're just gonna put you right there, even though I probably shouldn't. Put you right there. Move some people around. There we go. All right, so we're gonna let these fry. We're not gonna touch them. I need to move one of these down some more. Cause it's sticking out. There we go. So now we're not gonna touch them. And we're gonna let these fry until they are golden brown. Where do the good girls go to hide away, hide away? Yeah, this jumpsuit is so comfortable. <laughs> I be so comfortable. Yes, I have on my waist trainer. And for y'all who think that I'm ashamed of this waist, I'm not. 
That's why I tell y'all I have it on. Okay. It ain't going to be the last time you see it. It's not. It snatches this waist and this like belly I got right here. Right on in, baby. Snatches it in. So I'm not going to make y'all wait here to see this fry. So I'll be back when it's almost done. All right, y'all. So now I'm going to touch one. If I can get one. See what it look like. Oh, look at that. Golden, beautiful brown, girl. I want to make sure that this pork is done, though. You know, you don't want to eat no raw pork. So I'm going to put them, leave them in there for a couple more minutes. Um, okay, so the jalapeno poppers, um, I let them cook for 15 minutes. They weren't done, okay? And I put them on the setting for wings, um, but they weren't done at 15 minutes. So I'm doing them for another 15 minutes. There's seven minutes left and I'm gonna see how long it takes. Um, I don't want them to burn. I think they're ready now, y'all. So that's 15 um, plus. What is it? 15 plus 8. 23 minutes, y'all. 23 minutes. That's how long it took to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Oh yeah, that's ready. Yeah. Dang, y'all can't see. Y'all can't see. I'm just gonna pluck these off just here. I can use these. Ready though. Look at how beautiful that came out. God. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, girl. That's how we like it. I hope somebody else eats these, y'all, because literally I made extras just in case. And Murder Show, talking about he done 
found out what's making his stomach hurt and his pork, so he's not gonna eat any. So I'm hoping and praying that Leia eats some. So I'm gonna have to save him for a rainy day. Look at that. Y'all, oh, it's pretty. And make sure y'all are putting them on a rack so they can stay crunchy. I'm gonna be dipping these y'all in some barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna definitely use my Chipotle Tabasco with it. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, look at that. This literally looks like a masterpiece, y'all. It really does. And it smells even better. Y'all should smell it up in here, girl. Uh, so before we make our plate, um, we're gonna be using this ranch for the poppers and this barbecue sauce, which is sugar-free, hickory-flavored barbecue sauce for our ribs. All right, so I'm about to put some ice up in here. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with the orange straw. What are we gonna drink today? I don't know. But what I do know is I need to hurry up and film this video. I'm gonna drink the orange tangerine. Excuse me, tangerine. Orange tangerine today. pieces to put on here. The biggest, best pieces. Freaking yum. I'm gonna put you on top. I'm gonna stick you right here on the side. I knew I should have just made five of these. Like, oh my God. I hope somebody dad gonna eat. Put you back here so we can feel that space. And we got four of them left. I'm probably not gonna eat all of that at all. <laughs> anyway, um, barbecue sauce in one of these. So we're gonna put you there. Then we're gonna do ranch right here. Okay, just like that, y'all. And we are done. I wanted something fresh, like um, you know what? I'm gonna be wishing that I had something fresh when I sit down for the food. Um. Where are my, okay, so I just got these cucumbers today. I love these kind. These are the, what do you call it? The English cucumber, something like that. So we're just gonna take a little bit off of here. Let me just use these scissors. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so we're gonna put that back in there. All right. And I'm thinking. 
king. Let me see, maybe I should put her like there. And then cut this up. Dang, I need a knife. What's the knife I used already? Here we go. Oh, we are ready, girl. Are y'all ready? <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited. Look at this plate. Oh, God. Mm, mm, mm. It's about to go down, okay? <laughs> some homemade fried ribs. Look at that. Doesn't that look perfect? Like yummy, freaking delicious. We have some homemade jalapeno poppers, y'all. Look at that. My first time making those, they came out pretty good. We have English cucumbers right here. We have some sugar-free barbecue sauce, some ranch, and we are drinking an orange tangerine flavor water. Girl, don't this look delicious? I mean, like really? Yummers. <laughs> 